Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cybersecurity Ranger. <clears throat> Before I begin, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to demonstrate yet another tool for reconnaissance, uh, and it's called Sublister. Now, Sublister in the previous older version of Kali Linux, it was already installed. So, but in the newer version of Kali Linux, it's uh, not there anymore. So you can use apt-get install sublister. I have already installed it. So you can see here, sublister is already the newest version. Now, in order to use sublister, list three r hyphen h for help uh, so you can see the usage of sublister so you have to use the word sublister and then you can use these options hyphen h hyphen d b p v t e o etc um, hyphen d is uh, one of the most important switches of uh, sublister it's basically that you have to mention the domain on which you want to find so so talking about sublister it's mainly used for uh, finding out the subdomains of a particular target domain. Um, but it also uh, finds out uh, the ports uh, if you want to check on certain domain, which port is uh, open. So you can use the hyphen P, uh, minus V is for the verb boss, um, E for the engines, search engines that you want to use. So if you do not specify the search engine, it's probably going to use the all the search engines that are there um, in sublister tool. And if you want to save uh, your output, you can obviously use a hyphen O and give the file name uh, in which it saves your results, right? So this is also an example how you can use it. Uh, so let's just uh, go with sublister 3R and then hyphen D, and then we can give yahoo.com for instance. So um, as you can see, it is using all the search engines, Beidou, Yahoo, Google, Bing, Netcraft, DNS Dumpster, VirusTotal, and, and it also gives a very error message that VirusTotal is probably now blocking our requests. So let's wait for some time. If I put minus V, uh, it actually works in the verb post mode, so you can see what is going on, how many results have been found out, so you can see here. Uh, we found out 18 subdomains for Yahoo, tw.bid.yahoo.com, ca.yahoo.com, finance.yahoo.com, and so on. So as I mentioned previously in my videos that sometimes um, it's not a good idea to to, to target the uh, main domain. So you have to look for the subdomains and you know try to find a point of entry to the target. Um, and there are another option that you can use with the sublister um along with hyphen d is hyphen p so if you want to find out for example if port 40 and 443 is on <clears throat> let's just do it in the verb boss mode hyphen v so now you can see it has actually started working in the verb boss mode So now you can see here that uh, it shows, first of all, what are the subdomains and on these subdomains, it's not a surprise uh, which ports are open, um, port 80 and port 443 that I gave. Um, if I, for example, put, um, if I, for example, use another port um, 2021 20, or 22, for instance, I think it's the SSH port, so. We'll see if the SSH port is on. I really doubt that SSH is on on one of the subdomains, but let's let's just see. Started scanning for port 22. Um, no surprise, we didn't find any port 22 open on um, 
on the Yahoo subdomains, right? Uh, so let's try another domain. ndit.edu I would just like to mention here that uh, we are not attacking any domains here. We're just trying to perform reconnaissance, trying to find out what are the subdomains which are already available and what ports are actually open on these uh, subdomains, right? All right. So with this, uh, I'll finish my demonstration on sublister. I hope you have enjoyed the video. It was a short and quick video. Just... Uh, to show you the usage of sublister for performing domain reconnaissance. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, if you want me to demonstrate a certain specific tool, uh, please mention it in the comments, and I'll be happy to do that.